Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and today I'm going to be sewing wig clips with you into my gorgeous Alexa wig. So I'm wearing Alexa right now in the gorgeous chocolate kiss R colour but I want to sew clips into my cinnamon toast one. I've already got clips in the one I'm wearing. I have just reviewed this one in part one of this video and this really is a part two. So it's take two this is where we go in and kind of do some tips and tricks to get the wig how we want it to be. And you have the option of wearing a wig band to secure your wig or obviously wearing a wig cap or, you know, whatever you want to do. You may not even think that you want to put clips in or wear anything. You just want to put your wig on and go and that's fine. But for me, when I'm going out and about in these wigs because I am a daily wig wearer, and I do wear them when I go on holiday, when I go out and about. I want my wig to be secure. I want my wig to be secure so if anything happens, and I've been at a checkout in a supermarket before, and I've been packing my shopping, completely forgetting I've got a wig on, and it's pretty much been yanked off. And that's because I hadn't secured the wig to my head. So now I'm like, okay, I've purchased some Amazon wig clips that I've found, and I'm just going to sew them in and see how I go. And they seem to be working really, really well. And what I've found from wearing wig clips and not the wig band is it's more comfortable. It sits better. It's more natural looking. And I don't need to put clips in it. I'm finding that when I'm wearing a wig band with any of my wigs, whether it's a short wig, a medium wig or a long wig, I want to automatically pin it up and get it out of my face because the wig band is so powerfully connecting it to my head it's pushing it down a little bit and as you can see with this one I'm wearing I haven't got that problem so I don't even feel like it's in my face even when it does that all I have to do is just rake it back a little bit with my fingers and it stays in the style which I'm absolutely loving this wig today so let's do this then so we're going to sew in three wig clips into this kind of wig cap now I aren't the best at sewing if you've already watched the two videos that I've done with, with the sewing, you'll see that. But it's all about having fun and practice makes perfect. So the more I do these wiggy sewing videos with you, the better I'll become. And that's why I'm doing them. And you may just watch this video for a bit of fun to connect with me and, you know, just kind of spend some time with me. Or you may really be interested in knowing how you do this. So I'm going to show you to the best of my ability with the camera that I've got because I record on my tablet. So first of all, you want your tools. So these are the wig clips I use. Now I get these, you know, just from Amazon. They rock back and forth, so they're very easy to put in. They're not like them, you know, grips that, the grips that you get on the wigs, you know, where they, they grip into your head. I personally don't like those. Those are the ones that tend to come on the Amazon wigs. And I'm going to be showing you all some Amazon wigs next week and how I've made my Amazon wigs more comfortable to wear but I find those clips or grips very painful so I end up cutting them out whereas on the Godiva's wigs I end up sewing these in so this wig grip it just grips it to your hair very lightly and securely and safely so as you can see it's got a rubber band on it that keeps it close to your head but also it keeps it you know, so that it doesn't pull or damage your hair. Because when you put them on, and when I put this one on, I pulled it back. You can't even feel it clipping in. Okay, it clips. Look how secure this wig is. This is not going anywhere. Okay, it's not going anywhere until I unclip it. But it's very, you know, kind of comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel like it's grabbing my hair or pulling my hair. And you know, sometimes even when you put your own hair up with one of these, you can put it up sometimes and it, oh, it hurts, you know, it feels like it's kind of pulling on your hair and you don't want that, especially if you're going to be out and about and you don't want to keep taking your wig on and off. So these are the perfect option. So on these, it's got three holes either side. So as you can see, it's got two holes at the top and then a gold hole and on the other side, it has two. Now, when I'm sewing these into the wigs, I only sew the first two holes and I ignore the gold bit at the bottom, just so it gives it that extra leeway to go up and down. So before I sew anything in, I'm going to make sure all three work. You know, there'd be nothing worse than sewing one in and then realising it's a faulty clip. And I'm sure at some point I'm going to get a faulty clip because that's just the law of averages. So 
I've got my three clips. I've got my magnifying glass, which don't laugh, but I use to thread my needle because I'm not that good. And my white cotton. Now, you can use brown cotton with these wigs. Obviously, if you're using um, yellow or kind of, you know, like a pale, wild, um, like, a, a, blah, like a lemony colour for a blonde wig, you know, to match the colour of the wig. So it would be more ideal for me to use brown on this. But I can't see what I'm doing like that. Not because I'm blind or there's anything wrong with my eyesight, but because I'm not very good at sewing. I'm still learning and I set the intention with the angels that I am going to be a good sewer by the end of this year. I'm going to be able to sew anything, you know, because I'm learning myself right now. So I'm using white cotton because it's easier for me to see what I'm doing and that makes it quicker. So I'm going to use my scissors and cut off the cotton there. So I've got my cotton. Now, there is two ways of doing this. There's a way where you can use just one piece of cotton to sew the whole thing in but I'm going to do both sides separately because I just find it easier to do it that way and I find that you know they're a lot more secure so I have had it on the Abigail wig which I actually did it with you guys where I took the wig off I put a little bit of force in it to when I was you know undoing the clips and the, they come loose so I had to do them again so since then I've been doing them both sides so it's going to take one, two, well, we've got three clips. It's going to take six goes to get these clips in. So let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is thread my needle. So the way I do it, I've got a cat that I use to hold my cards up on my other channel, Guided by Angels, because I also do psychic readings. And I'm going to use my magnifying glass to hold, you know, the, well, the cat to hold the magnifying glass so I can then thread my needle. So I've got my needle, I've got my cotton, and I'm just going to take some time right now just threading this needle. So bear with me. And look at that. I've done it first time. Wow. I even surprised myself then. Wow. Thank you, angels. Okay. Because we're all being guided by angels. So I'm going to make sure that both sides are matching. Both sides are matching. Let me do it. And this is where I just need to take a little bit of time doing this. Okay. So bear with me. And then I get both ends between my thumb and my forefinger and I pull it down like this until I get to the end. And then I take my needle in between my thumb and forefinger. And then with the other hand, I grab the cotton and I wrap it round one, two, three, four, five times. And then I pull it down and pull it and then I should get a sturdy knot. And I have done. So there we go. That's what I do. Now, the reason I've just showed that to you is because I had to Google how to do that. And I'm sure many of you watching are thinking, what? You had to Google and end up watching a YouTube video on how to thread a needle. And yes, I did. Okay. Because before my mum passed away, she passed away last year. She always did all of my sewing for me. Thank you, mum. So now I have to man up and girl up and do it myself. So we're going to put the wig clips in. So cotton's ready. So I'm going to get my first one. Now, I don't want to sew it into the lace because I don't want to damage the wig. And I'm sure I wouldn't damage the wig, but I'm not taking any chances. And I do find anyway, you know, I don't really want them that close to my head. I want them further back. So I'm going to put them, it's going to sit about there. That's where the one is on this one. So it sits about there. So obviously the lace is there, but even now you can see, Okay, it's not going anywhere. It's still sturdy. It's still got that gorgeous lace front, you know, that hairline. So you can't tell there's anything going on. Now, because I'm obviously going to be paying attention to what I'm doing, I'm going to just pin back with this claw clip my hair or my wig. Okay, I'm going to just get rid of it a little bit so I can just focus on what I'm doing. Isn't that just a little bit pretty there? So let's do it then. So I'm going to get the first one. Now, you make sure the rubber bit is facing down and you make sure the, the clips or the teeth are facing towards you. So I'm going to get my wig and I want two at the front there and there. And then I want one at the back to just secure the back of the wig. So I'm going to start at the front. So I'm going to start on the front right. So I get my wig clip and I make sure the rubber is face down and the clips are towards me. And I'm going to put it where I want it. So... I want it about there, okay? If you can see, I want it about there, just below the lace. And I want to make sure I get it in so it's not lopsided and it's in the right place that it is. So I've got it where I want it now. 
So I've got it where I want it and I'm going to get my, yeah, you have to be more careful. Thank you, angels, for reminding me. You have to be more careful with these monofilament ones because obviously in a machine teased one, there's lots of wick. In a mono one, there isn't much wick. So I have to do it, you know, so that I'm only taking a tiny bit of wick. So I get a tiny bit of wick. Okay, I go into the wig, I get a tiny bit there, and then I'm going to take it up through the first hole. Can you see? And pull it very, very slowly and surely. And then I'm going to do it one more time, a little bit of wig, go through it again. And on the second pull up, I'm going to go through the little loop. So there's a little loop there. The two pieces of cotton have made a loop. And then that just makes it secure. Now, I have got a little piece of cotton here trying to get involved in the party. And that happened last time. So I'm going to ignore that the best I can. And then I'm going to do it one more time for luck. So we're always going to do it three times now for luck. And that's quite secure there. So I'm just going to make sure I can't see cotton through and I can't. So now I'm going to move on then to the second hole. So I'm going to make sure it's as tight as I can get it there without pulling it off. And then go in again through a little bit of wig and up through the second hole. So we've done the first hole, we're doing the second hole. And then I'm going to go again, a little bit of wig up through the second hole, pull it through and then go slow so that on the, that one I can actually loop it. If I can loop it, if I can see what I'm doing, so that it makes it secure. And then I'm going to do it one more time, third one for luck and pull it through. And then just double check, there's no cotton showing on the wig and there isn't. So... That's now ready to be secured. Now, I could put the cotton underneath the wig clip and carry on, but I don't want to do that. I want to do it both sides separately. So I'm going to cut off the cotton about there, which leaves me with enough cotton to do the other side. And I get the two sides like that. And then I'm just going to knot them three times. Okay, so I get a little knot to secure it on. So let me just see what I'm doing. So I'm not getting any wig there. One, two, and three. Now, obviously, it's still moving around because I haven't secured the other side, but that's good enough there. So I'm going to cut off the excess cotton, and then I can show you close up when I've done the other side. I'm going to cut that little bit off. And it doesn't need to look really perfect inside because there's only me and you seeing it. As long as it stays on and it does what it's meant to do, then that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what it looks like, you know, because only me who's going to see it. So I'm going to get my cotton and there should be enough there. There's enough there to do the other side. Don't need much for that. So again, I make sure I've got my two sides. And when I say I'm looping it through, what I mean is, obviously there's two sides there. So when they are knotted, they are going through, they're creating a double piece of cotton and then I'm going to loop it through like this so say I've got my cotton like through you see there like that that's how I do it and again I had to learn this from YouTube so I didn't know how to do this until I watched Danielle doing it on Good Eye with Secret Wick so I pull it down I put my needle in between my thumb and forefinger oh nearly pulled it out let's try that again so, I mean, you've got to just be very slow with these things because it's so fiddly. And I haven't really got any patience. So, one, two, three, four, five. And if any divine feminines are watching and pull it down, you know what I mean by not having patience. You have to learn it. It's a skill that's in you, but you have to learn to bring it out of you. Interesting. So, I've just got my hair just uh, on my ear there because I've just pulled it back with the claw clip. So I've got it, I'm going to go to the other side. So before I start, just make sure I've got it in the right position there. I don't want to sew it in and then realise I've done it lopsided, you see. So it's right there. So I'm going to go in again. Now I'm going in on the top hole, go down, get a little bit of wig and then come up through the first hole. And then go down again, a little bit of wig, up through the first hole. And when you pull it up, make sure you can knot it through the loop. And if you can't see, which I can't there, I'm going to do it on the third go. So I'm going to go again, a little bit of wig, not much because I don't want it coming through, the white cotton. And then I pull it up and I can see the loop on that go. So I just knot it in and that's really secure there. And then I'm going to go up again, a little bit of wig, second hole, pull it up tight. 
actually let me just i think i might have done that a little bit too harshly let me just check yeah you can what i've done there i'm just gonna yeah <laughs> okay i've messed that up okay look what i've done on that one i've messed it up a little bit at least i think i have let me just double check i don't want to have to do it again if i don't have to yeah i've made it too cottony on that side so i'm going to unpick that because i want it to be right you know I, want, I don't want to just do it fast with you guys on here and then come off camera and it not to be right. I want it to be right. So I want to do it again. So let's take this out then. So you just have to unpick this. You just unpick this. And that's the thing with them, you know, if you mess up and you're using white cotton, it's very easy to do. You know, it's very easy to sort it out. You don't have to mess around you know like if it was brown cotton i might not see where what i've done it what i was doing so and i'm not bothered about making mistakes here because we're all human you know we're all human we all make mistakes it's how we learn and we all have to learn when we're doing things like this you know i've never sewn anything before and i don't want to mess it up either so i want to do it right so let me just unpick this let me just get what I'm going to do actually if you don't mind I'm going to take my wig off because I'm just going to unclip it because I am getting a bit warm trying to sew and wear my wig at the same time so I'm just going to pull it off and I am on menopause so I'm sure you can understand so yeah that's much better so let me just sort my hair out and this is how like I just put my wig on you know so I just pull it into a little pony like that at the bottom and then it secures the wig on so i can breathe a bit better now and see what i'm doing so i'm going to unpick this then so let me get my scissors and go in and the angels are saying because obviously the angels always guide me i don't really need to unpick this you know it's just i want it i don't want any cotton to come through so i want to make sure i've done it right and i've done it that well it's you know it's not actually allowing me to unpick it here but I will. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Well, maybe I should just tie it. Let me just have a look at what I've done on the other side. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was. So I think I'm trying to unpick it for no reason here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and knot these two ends. Let's see if I can knot these two ends. No, it's not going to work. I've got to unpick this. I've got to unpick this. So <clears throat> let me do it. Let me do it. I am feeling quite warm. I'm having, it's not embarrassment. Don't worry. It's, it's hot flash. So I don't know about you, but I get them every now and again. They come on very, very strong, you know, when I'm dealing with perimenopause. Or I do also get cold flashes. And I know that they can be a lot rarer when you get cold flashes, but I do get them. And I'll just go absolutely freezing. And I can have the heating on. And my boyfriend's like, oh, it's so hot in here. But I just tend to just be, you know, dithering and cold and not really understanding why. And I'm like, oh, it's the menopause. It's got to be the menopause. So, and I have Googled it. And, you know, we do get cold flashes as well as hot flashes. So I just think I'm an exception where I get more cold flashes than hot flashes. But I am having one right now. So, and that's another reason. Well, that is the main reason why I've decided to wear wigs because... I don't want to colour my hair, you know, I don't want to put chemicals or dyes or anything like that on my hair, I want it to be natural and I want it to grow naturally and I want it to just have a little break from, you know, just being messed about with chemicals, so, and I think that's the right thing to do for me right now, so it's not letting me get this out, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it in because it's not creating an eyesore and clearly I've sewed it in that well it doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to put some more cotton in. I'm just going to tighten it up on that side. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get some more cotton. And I'm going to thread my needle again. So let's thread the needle. And the reason why, if you're wondering why I'm not editing this video. I don't like editing my videos. I like you seeing everything. Because you know that shows we're all human and i know obviously you might skip through some of this video but if you want to watch it all and you know obviously this is how we get to know each other during you know the trial and error of everything and that's what i love so that's what i'm doing
so and if you don't obviously you might just want to watch the wig review videos you might not want to watch these ones you know watch what you enjoy on the other channel on guided by angels i say it's like a spiritual nightclub and you can choose the videos that you like you can just like you know when you're at a nightclub you can choose the songs that you want to dance to or you can choose what you want to drink from the bar it's the same thing here so there's going to be various wig videos you choose what you want to watch you'll see it as a wig club you know so i've got it where i want it then so i'm going to go in now to the second hole a little bit of wig and then pull it up through the second hole and then i'm going to do it again up and through the second hole and I'm going to do it again up and through the second hole. Okay. And then I'm going to just go round and loop it in and make sure it's secure. I'm going to go one as well in the other hole just to make sure I've got it where I want it. And then I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to tie it in a knot three times. So hopefully that one will be secure. So see how it takes a little bit more time, but it's worth it to get it right it's worth it to get it right that's what i say so i'm just gonna flick this in there we go and then i'm gonna cut off the excess cotton and then i can show you what i've done and you might be like oh it's a bit of a mess but it's doing the job look it's in very 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 secure see how i've done that one there so it's very close to the lace in and out and nobody's going to see this apart from me when i look at the wig on the back there's no cotton you can't see any cotton so it's actually fine so we're going to put another one now on the other side so again i'm going to put some more cotton on and i'm going to just move this out of the way and it's always a reward you know putting your wig on after that's the way i see it so i think all this hard work doing this will be worth it when i actually put my wig on at the end and test it out which is what we're going to do as well so I'm just going to thread my needle. I'm actually quite impressed at how I've been threading these needles. Been doing them quite quick. Thank you, angels, for helping me. And I've done it again there. So I nearly poked myself in the eye then. You've got to be so careful when you're messing around with sharp things and, you know, things you don't usually mess with. Otherwise, you have accidents. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. And I think it was when I was doing this with the candy wig, I actually ended up um, putting the needle through my thumb. So luckily it was okay. But yeah, I made a bit of a mess. I've just made a bit of a mess of that knot there. But I'm just going to cut that and see what happens. I might have to do it again. Let me have a look. So does it seem secure there? Yeah, it's okay. That'll do. That'll do. It's a bit of a bodgy knot, though, that is, to be fair. Let me see if it's going to hold it, because I don't want a big mess in there. Yeah, I need to do it again. I thought that wasn't right, that. That's because I'm talking to you and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So I'm going to pull it down, and I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five, eat, and then I'm going to pull it down, and that should make a better knot. That's much better that time. I made a big ball of fluff just, I think, in that one. So we're just going to do one side and then do the other, just like I've done here. So I'm going to get the wig clip, make sure it works. And remember, you want the rubber down facing you and the teeth towards you. And then I'm going to place it where I want it to be. So on the other side. So one's there, one about there. Matching. So matching the other side. So again, nowhere near the lace there. So I'm going to go in, take a little bit of wig. And then go up through the first hole and make it tight. And then I'm going to do it one more time. I'm just going to push that little bit of cotton out the way to try and get involved in the party there. And I'm going to pull it up and then I'm going to make a double loop with that one. That worked. And then I'm going to go up one more time for luck. Little bit of wig. And then up through the hole. Okay. And I know obviously you can't see it very well, but, you know, it's working. It's working. Okay, I can see a tiny little bit of cotton through that one there. So I'm just going to take it out and do it again. I don't want cotton on this wig. And that's why with these monos, you know, they are a little bit more fiddly and time consuming because with the candy wig, the machine tease wig, there's more wig to play with. But obviously because these sit closer to the head, 
there isn't as much wig to play with you see so you've got to be so careful that's why i'm not coming really close to the camera and i'm trying to kind of watch what i'm doing because i don't want it coming through the wig and then it looking like a wig when it's such a gorgeous wig without it, it looks so natural so let's do it again so again i'm gonna to have to put some new cotton on so do let me know what you know what you think of these videos if you enjoy them if you think they're a waste of time if it's relaxing someone told me they emailed me and said they found it very soothing and relaxing watching me do this so that's good if you can bring in some healing energy and you know relax you a little bit you may see this as a little bit like a meditation connecting with the angels and sewing and just having a bit of fun that's what it's all about so let's get this in someone gave me a tip as well about threading the needle you know about um licking it and stuff so let's do that someone said if you lick it and wet the ends it goes in easier i think i'm just having a hot flash right now so yeah and it's red hot out and obviously i've pulled the blind down but it gets like an oven in this room you know this is my office and it gets like an oven when the sun's shining you know even if it isn't very warm but the sun's shining it can get very very hot it's like a greenhouse in here and i love it but whew, sometimes you feel it you know and that's why i do find that in the summertime i tend to get up a lot earlier to record my videos earlier because about this time it's four o'clock now in the uk you know it comes from it moves kind of around the house so i do find that it starts getting this heat in here about three o'clock and it lasts all night you know oh it's really warm so i'm going to pull it down and then i'm going to wrap it around five times and i'm going to make my knot yes okay so better that time so what i'm going to do i'm going to cut off that little fiddly bit that keeps trying to get involved in the party and then i'm going to worry about it then okay so let's try again this is take two hopefully there won't be a take three so i'm going to put it where i want it on the wig and then i'm going to go in i'm going to take a tiny little bit of wig tiny little bit of wig and then go through and then i'm going to go through again one more time tiny little bit of wig go in and then i'm going to pull it up yeah that's better that time and then i'm going to go in the other side to the, the second hole pull it up through the second hole and then i'm going to do it one more time and i'm going to get my loop that time will that work yes it will and then i've done that so that's gone in twice now so i'm going to also remember do it three times for luck so I'm going to go in the top one and then I'm going to go in the second one and that's done. So I'm going to pull that tight and then I'm going to cut off my cotton about there. So I've got enough to do the other side and then I'm going to tighten it. So I'm going to tighten it into three knots. One, two, three look at the concentration on my face and then cut off the excess cotton so i've got that side and yet that looks good it's not showing through the wig not that i can see anyway so i'm going to go in and do the other side to get this top one done so again i've got enough cotton there i think so i'm just going to make sure i've got both ends right where i want them and i'm going to pull that down and one two three four five there you go okay so it is fiddly and it does take a little bit of time but it is rewarding when you put the wig on so i'm going to go down take a little bit of wig go in through the first hole a little bit of wig and then up to the first hole and then i'm going to do a little knot and i'm going to go in through the second and oh and it broke off so sometimes it does that as well so I'm just going to cut that off there and I'm going to knot it up now. Well, I'll go back in and just make sure it's tight, but I'm going to tie it. So this will still secure it, even though it will need another one. So because I don't want to have to take it off and do the whole thing again. 
but it's obviously come off because it's just how it is sometimes you know it's fiddly and it can be awkward and you're like oh why is it doing this to me you know so i'm going to cut that off there and there and then we're going to go in again so again threading of the needle again threading the stress coming through the pressure of threading the needle it's like in um pretty woman and i went to see that at the theater when i was in london and i wore a gorgeous wig for that one and when i went to see that i wore my candies for that one in a uh, toasted brown which i will be showing you at some point and um, when kit says oh the pressure of coming up with a name you know when vivian says who does this who does it work out for then and she says cinderella and she says the pressure the pressure of a name and it's so true it's like the pressure of threading your needle the pressure of threading needle. i just did it and then i pulled it too tight and it come out so i'm just doing it a bit slower this time the pressure of a name okay let's do it the other way sometimes when you try and put it in it just kind of splits the cotton and then one side goes in and the other side doesn't so has that gone in? Yeah, that's gone in. So I'll just get it here. See how the magnifying glass is a good tip and trick. It does work. It does work. Rather than me trying to really, you know, make my eyes go funny trying to see to do it, I'd rather do it this way. Even if I do look a bit silly and strange. So I've got it in. Okay, again, that's done it a bit of a funny look, but it'll be okay, I think. Let me just double check it. That'll be okay, because only I'm seeing it anyway. It's only to touch up this bottom bit. So I'm going in through the second loop here. Because I've already done the first loop. And I'm going to put it in again. And then put it around the first one. So this looks like a proper bodge job, to be honest. If you look at it, you'll be like, what are you doing there, Liz? But at least it's gone in. And as long as I can't see the cotton through the wig at the, you know, through the actual wig itself when it's being worn then it's okay, it doesn't matter what it looks like, as long as it stays on my head. So that one's done. Let me just have a look if I can see any cotton before I show it to you. No, nope, can't see anything. So see what I mean? I've, I've made a bit of a bodge job of that one, but it is secure and it does work and that's what matters. So I can probably cut a little bit more cotton off it just to tidy it up a little bit. And I'm sure, you know, there's some of you guys watching you like, Oh, I could have done that so much better for you, you know, and I'm sure you could, okay, but it's trial and error and that's what I'm doing, I've never sewn before, so I do think I'm doing a good job. So I'm going to put in the third one then, the final one, so I'm just going to move all this cotton out of the way, so I've got to thread my needle again, so hopefully this will be the last time I have to thread my needle if I make sure I've got enough cotton to do both sides, so I'm going to get it. And I'm going to thread it. We can do it, baby. Come on, we can do it. So I'm going to thread it. Thought I had it then, but I didn't. It's going to go into it. Okay, sometimes it flicks all the way out. Like it goes in and then it flicks out. It's, you know, a bit annoying. A bit annoying to say the least. But you learn patience. I tell you what, people who sew for a living must have such amazing patience. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so it's in. So we're going to pull it down and get the knot in it. So we're going to go round. We just do it again. Make sure I don't want to mess it up. So we come out then. And there we go. Okay, so I want to go down and one, two, three, four, five, and get my knot in it. Yeah, that's worked. It's a bit high though, that is. Let me see if I can cut any of that off. I don't know why I do it that high then. Okay, let's cut that off. So that's good to go. Okay, so we're going to put one at the bottom there so it fits about there. So again, teeth down, well, the rubber down and the teeth towards you. So you want to get the wig facing you the other way. So that's the back of the wig. You've put the front two in. You want one here. So I'm going to put my clip 
there okay kind of in the middle of the others so it's going to be with the teeth facing down so the teeth always go in towards the center of the wick so i'm going to put it where i want it to be get it right make a bit of space here there we go so that's right and then i'm going to get my cotton i'm going to go into the first little bit of wig pull it through do it again a little bit of wig a little bit of wig not much Liz just a little bit and then come up and then I'm going to slot it through and then I'm going to do one more for lock so a little bit of wig a little bit of wig if I can see what I'm doing I think I'm doing quite well getting this in okay it's quite and the, the sun's in my eyes as well so I'm not doing a bad job here so give me a thumbs up if you think I'm doing a good job or a dislike if you don't it's fine and I can't thread that one through again for some reason because this little bit of cotton is trying to get involved in the party again. So I'm going to go through the bottom and take it up that way. And then I'm going to do again the second hole layer. So pull it up and I've got a knot that time so I can pull it through. And then I'm going to do it one more time for look that side. So that's gone in perfectly. So I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to tie my double knot or treble knot if I can get it right there we go oh but after this one there's only one other side to do and then I get to put my wig on so that's our reward to see it on with wig clips and to feel the difference because I've only worn this one obviously with a wig band and I know how it makes me feel it makes me feel quite hot when I've got that one on so I've got the piece of cotton. I don't need to do another one because that will do it. As long as I can get my uh, knot in properly. Fingers crossed it works. Yeah, that's worked perfectly. So again, the best thing to do is just to hold it with your thumb and make sure it's exactly where you want it so that you don't sew it in and then realise you've sewed it in wonky because I've done that before and then you have to do the whole thing over again. So I go a little bit of wig down and up through the first hole and then a little bit of wig and up through the first hole and i'm going to do it one actually i've got my security there because i've got the looper the looper's available to me there if i can thread it through see it's so fiddly so fiddly okay i can't do it on that one for some reason so i'm going to do it on the second hole so a little bit of wig up through the yeah up through it let me just pull that bit through i'll show you what i'm doing in a second i know you can't really see what i'm doing but i just don't want to mess it up otherwise i'll have to unpick it again so i'm making it tight i'm going in one more time for lock so this is three times through three times through and one more through the top hole if i can find it sometimes the cotton is in the way and i can't even see where the hole is it's very strange but you know imagine if i was doing it with brown cotton so that's fine that'll do so i'm gonna do my third knot and then i can cut off the excess cotton and hopefully put the wig on hopefully so let's see if we've done a good job of this so tight three times we've got one two and three done so I'm going to cut off the excess cotton here and a little bit there and yeah it's in there you go can you see so it's in let me just check it's in right here yeah it's in right let me just check there's nothing going on with the wig yeah no cotton we've done a good job so I'll show you so what we've got then we've got two at the front and we've got one at the back and that's what it will look like but more than likely yours will look much better than mine okay mine is just like a bit of a bodge job but at least i can do it so i'm going to put the wig on now so i get the wig ready i just unclip all three and then i'm going to put the wig on so again when i put the wig on let's move that cotton out of the way i'm going to put the wig lace front there and i'm going to pull it over like this so i'm going to put the, like you're putting your head into a, a bowl or a bucket and i've tucked my hair under i've got my, my tabs made sure they are straight pull it up like that and now i can move it back 
Okay, so already it's, I mean, it's looking better already. It's feeling better already because it's not as heavy. Because I've only ever put it on before with a wig band. So I've got it up to the hairline where I want it. So I'm going to clip in my clips and then put my thumb under the back bit, find the clip and lock that in. So it's secure, you see? The only thing that's moving there is my forehead. So again, it's worth doing because already it feels better than it did before. And if you want to know what that was like, if you watch the previous video, you'll see me wearing it with the wig band. So again, it feels much better. So Laura, if you're watching this, I really can recommend sewing in some wig clips because it's going to feel a hundred times better for you. And the wig tab is there on your ear. So already it feels better. And already it's looking better, which you can see. So there we go. I've got one side exactly how I want it. Now the other one, that's where it's naturally parting. So I'm going to pull it down with my fingers. And I'm going to move it down like this. And she is ready to wear. See? Perfect now. Whereas in the other one, it felt like it was, woof, you know, because... It's just fitting better, it feels better, it feels lighter, it feels more secure. And I know I've got that added security where it's not going to fall off my head. So, perfectly done. So obviously, again, it's took 40 minutes to do this video. But, you know, I haven't really got 40 minutes to spare being a busy woman. And I'm sure you haven't really got 40 minutes to spare either. But the fact that we've spent it together... It means so much and I really want you to know that. So, you know, if you have watched this video all the way through, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Just knowing you were here with me as I'm doing it helps me to continue and persevere. And, you know, if something's worth doing, if something is worth waiting for, then it's definitely worth putting the time and effort into. So this is Alexa in a cinnamon toast. And now we have sewn wig clips into a monofilament wig live together. So I hope this helps. Send you so much love and I'll see you soon.